So there's been a lot of press about um, opioids and that and other things have caused either state governments, city governments, countries to, um, or health systems to pass laws um, suggesting that people should uh, be t tapered off of their opioids very rapidly or in some cases those laws either suggest or imply that people should be abruptly stopped in their opioids and that has had some fairly catastrophic um, consequences. Uh, in, in some individuals it's led to suicide attempts, in some individuals they then end up getting their opioids on the street and then end up you know using heroin instead of a prescription opioid which puts them at risk of dying of an opioid overdose if that heroin has, happens to be laced with fentanyl or carfentanil. Um, but it, so I think that there's, I think we should dissociate these two things that I think it's appropriate for healthcare providers to look at what's happened with opioids and say, um, I don't think it's a good idea to newly start my chronic pain patients on opioids. And um, if every healthcare provider in the United States and beyond had that attitude, that would just be good. The, where where the, the bad comes in is h how they handle the people that are already on opioids. Because those people ha have to be handled very gently. They, they, again, most of these people are dependent upon these drugs. You can't just rapidly taper the drugs. A small proportion of them actually benefits from them with better pain control. So I think that in the people that are already on opioids, we have to take a um, very sort of cautious um, and careful approach. Um, I I most of those people should slowly, gradually taper their opioids to make sure that the opioids are of some benefit to them. Um, but we shouldn't be in any way dramatically cutting these people off um, because it is, in, in fact, quite dangerous.